It's your boy Zeke Cafe, man, from Pro Living Styles, man. You already know what time it is. We at Sneaker Exit. It's the last show of the year. We going up. Yo, yo, what's good, man? It's your boy right here today. Um, today we're um, pulling up to the uh, sneaker exit. It's kind of muddy outside. I'm actually right back working. Man. I just dropped the video. Um, actually, today, man, earlier this morning, man, from the Atlanta Sneaker Convention. Make sure y'all go ahead and check that out. And uh, if you're feeling the vibes, man, go ahead and subscribe. But uh, yeah, man, it's kind of muggy out here, man. We're going to get inside, man. And, uh, we're going to get to it, man. Let's go. All right, so right back with it. Um, Hoodie, man, you'll see why I wore the same hoodie in the same day. I mean, the two to the separate days. I think not the pants. Same little shoes and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're gonna slide in and see what's up. Let's go. I 
Okay. Uh, do you think it's like any animosity towards like resellers or anything like that? I think a little bit. Or like envy or something like that towards the resellers? I, I, I would say a little bit because I feel like, you know, we're at war with the people that's in the stores. They don't really get the reselling game, but to me, I feel like it's a win-win situation. We helping y'all get y'all product going and y'all getting y'all sales up. And at the end of the day, you got something that we want. So we all right. each other out, man. My take on that is I, it's, a, it's many roads you can go, it's many paths you can take, right? Yeah. So most people that's really not deep in the stick of hand like me and you, yeah. they just use the stick out. They don't know about the rivals and all the other stuff, avenues you can take to go I get the no shoe. I have no idea. And then on top of that, you, I know you got kids and stuff like that. Absolutely. You got family, you got rent, you got all, so it's like, you know what I'm saying, they can't handle that. You can't knock somebody else's hustle. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my take on it. Gotta let them eat. Gotta let them eat. So, all uh, right. Even though we really into shoes, right? And we call it, you know what I'm saying, we is evolving what we call the sneak culture, right? As far as hip hop and fashion and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Do you think it's important as a reseller and just as a sneak connoisseur, to um, have your fit involved with your shoes or just how to complete fit, you know what I'm saying? You just can't do with the shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like it's important because- Especially once you make your own, once you yeah, your own clothing. Yeah, yeah, with me making my own clothing line called Wildlife Clothing, I mean, I, I, I guess it, it's important because don't nobody, I mean, people, you want to look like it for somebody to buy it from you, man. You right, got to have exactly. it on, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't- self advertising. You feel me? Yeah. You got to. Uh, uh, let me ask you this. Um, essentially, hip hop started in New York, right? Yeah. All right, so you got East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, and you know, down South, right? Yeah. All right, so what codes you think got the best drip or just like the best, you know what I'm saying? Overall look or the style of how they dress? Which sneakers and all? I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm from Atlanta, born and raised from Atlanta. But I always been a Cali boy at heart, man. Yeah, I had to okay, go to the okay. West Coast, man. I, okay. I love the West Coast style and flavor, man. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, one more question. Yeah. So as far as, you know how we talked about like getting access to shoes, like doing the raffles and all that stuff, right? Do you think it'd be a good idea to like run a sneaker delivery service, kind of like Uber Eats or like uh, DoorDash or something like that? But you would have, I say if I had access to your store, but I had access to Good Times, yeah. or I had, I had access to Full Circle and stuff like that, and they got down, you know what I'm saying, with the app or whatever. Yeah. If somebody ordered a shoe from one of those stores or one not be a maybe be better. You get where I'm going with this, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Somebody go pick it up and deliver it straight to you within like, you know what I'm saying, that same day. Well, it's, it's crazy that you say that because great minds think alike. I feel like I was thinking of something like that as well, but it was just strictly for my company. Like, okay, okay. I was going to hire people to kind of work for me and okay. go out and, you know, get shoes and bring them back and, you know, just stuff and deliver them and stuff like okay, that. Yeah, so, yeah. same concept, but just different scenario. All right. All right, go ahead and check us out, bro. Yo, yo, you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Zig Hefe. Follow us on prolific underscore styles. You already know where we at. Yes, sir. Alright, so I actually um, brought my son with me. Real. Say hi for the camera. In the building, boy. <laughs> Can you go, JD? You know what's up, bro. <laughs> Why you look so bored? <laughs> like, man, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Smoking that gas, going on that sign, and she on the powder. Nowadays, I am on my head, I got sadder. Morning got longer, speaker got louder, car got faster. Turn to a savage, fire got faster.